My brothers and sisters, this seems to me to be our only hope. If we would meet the ever-mounting material needs to finish the work of God, and if at the same time we would lead our people into assured preparation for the coming of the Lord, we must have a spiritual revival of primitive godliness. A remarkable illustration of how this whole process works is related by the Apostle Paul in his second letter to the Corinthian church. You remember, it is found in the eighth chapter and the first four verses. He commends the churches of Macedonia for their generosity in helping meet the needs of the suffering saints in Jerusalem. He hastens to point out that their unusual generosity did not stem from their abundance. No, their own poverty was exceedingly deep. I learned and I read from Dr. Phillips in translating this chapter that the Macedonian churches were down to their last penny. That is, a, that is amazing, isn't it? It was the abundance of their joy coupled with deep poverty that abounded unto the richness of their liberality. They were not limited in their gifts by per capita statistics. They gave far beyond their power. So the apostle testifies. And what was the secret of this remarkable experience? We find it in the fifth verse. And this they did, not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to the Lord and unto us by the will of God. They had a spiritual revival and that revival resulted in unprecedented generosity. Here is the divine formula, the divine order that eventuates in spiritual growth and spiritual preparation. Fellowship, gratitude, generosity. Stewardship, understood like this, thus becomes a way of life, a life lived in close partnership with God. It reminds me of the words of that beautiful hymn, when I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count but loss and poor contempt on all my pride. The next verse in that song says, Were the whole realm of nature mine, that were a tribute far too small, love so amazing, so divine, demands my life, my soul, my all. That is lifestyle. Stewardship is not an event. Stewardship is not a moment. Stewardship is not a, a temporary exercise. Stewardship is a lifestyle. Thank you for watching. I hope you were blessed. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and family. Please visit our website and register for a free faith building course that appeals to you. Until next time, thank you and God bless.